Hey miners, Mining King here. Today we're gonna be checking out Hive Mapper. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So huge shout out to Hive Mapper for sending me out um, some stuff to review. Um, really, really appreciate it. Very, very grateful. Um, they sent me out this really, actually, really nice sweater. Right? It has a little Hive Mapper logo here, and even has Hive Mapper right down the arm so definitely really really cool but i'm sure you guys aren't here to watch about the sweater even though this is some pretty cool swag right we got one of these guys we have a hive mapper dash cam and this is a very interesting project because to me this is almost like i guess you could say it's like decentralized mapping right because before something like this person that was really in the game is, is Google. So um, I really like that a project is actually, once again, finding a use, right? Being, being useful. So that's one of the things that we always look for in projects. Do projects actually have a use case? Um, and do they provide some kind of utility? And obviously Hive Mapper does. So um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and crack open the box here. Let's see what it has inside. Let's see what kind of stuff we have in here. So pretty cool. You can see you guys got all this stuff on the inside of the box. We have we have a a hive mapper sticker. So we all know how much we uh love stickers here in this community. So I'll be putting this up. As well as I think this is a balloon. Is this the <laughs> Never had one of these before. You even get your own Hive Mapper balloon. <clears throat> you got a couple other little Hive Mapper stickers here. A little bit of swag, you know, to go inside your box. Looks like uh, an instruction booklet for your for your dash cam. And then this looks to be because of this little mount piece here. This looks to be the mount for your Hive Mapper. Then you get your, obviously this is how it charges. It looks like it uses a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And then we actually have the device itself. So pretty cool, man. What do you guys think about this project? I think this is pretty cool. So people that I think would benefit from this is, is a huge amount of people. And, and, and it can go from either a residential to a commercial use, right? So think about this. Residential, you could be using it for Uber Eats, DoorDash, Lyft, Uber, all those, Amazon Flex, all those delivery services. If you're already driving, then why wouldn't you have one of these to be able to make the honey tokens while you're driving, right? You're already out there on the road. Another another big um, from the commercial space, if they got, if people, if, uh, businesses got into this, like, what about like FedEx and, uh, UPS places like that, that have fleets of people delivering every day, right? What if you got an actual commercial company to get involved in this particular project? That would be huge, right? I mean, just imagine how much would be mapped if the fleet of UPS drivers had hive map or dash cams in there right so i haven't actually used this product ever before yet you you guys see me open this right now is me opening it for the first time i haven't taken for a test drive yet so let's go ahead and download the app let's get this thing um started let's see how we get this thing going so give me one minute and let's get this moving what's going on guys we're out here in my car I have the Hive Mapper all installed right here. And when these three green lights are lit up, that means that it's fully operational. This is recording GPS and being connected to the to your phone via Wi-Fi. I got the power cord coming right here and going down into the 12 volt cigarette lighter down here. So, and then you can see the image over here on my phone. So, so let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm gonna be testing this thing out for about a week or so. I'm gonna be using my RAV4 
which is a little bit more gas efficient and stuff like that to be able to test this uh, sorry about the little breezy out here in Arizona today it's about 70 degrees <laughs> but I am going to be testing this out for a week of just regular driving and then I want to test versus in the city versus out in the desert right because and not actually in the desert I'm just talking like you know driving on the freeway where because I'm kind of in between the city and in the middle of nowhere right so I'm going to be testing this for like I said about a week and then I'm going to do some more tests on you know versus rural versus you know um, heavily dense populated areas and things like that so I will be testing this pretty thoroughly so stay tuned for those videos if you guys want to how to set this up I can do that video but it's very very uh, easy and basic I suggest you guys go out to the hive mapper documentation where they actually already have pre-made uh, YouTube videos on how to get everything set up step by step so I don't really feel like I need to create that content since the contents already out there and it's actually really great and that's how I got started so be sure to check out the hive, uh, hive mapper documentation I will leave a link down below if you guys need to get started so this is the mining king giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.